In the previous video, we created the worm. We finished up by putting that hole, 0.25 hole, going all the way through so we can put an axle through it. So I'm going to hide this part now. I'm going to hide my uh, helix. And just for ease, I'm going to hide that plane one so I don't have that angled plane. The next thing we're going to do is go to the top view. Uh, and we're going to create our axle. We're just going to go to the center point circle on this. Uh, and go to the center point and we're going to create a 0.25 inch circle and we're going to extrude this piece six inches so this just gives us an axle to run our worm on right at this point so that part is actually done so the next thing we're going to move on to is our gear so i'm just going to hide this and again on this one i'm going to go to the front plane I'm going to grab my center point circle again, and I'm going to make a one and a half inch circle. Next, I'm going to grab my line tool. I'm going to click on my construction line, and I'm just going to create a vertical construction line that I can use to mirror off of later. I'm going to grab my line tool, and I'm going to draw a line from my circle to my construction line. I'm going to come over to my dimension tool. I'm going to dimension this line to be uh, 0 0.055 tall. And I'm also going to dimension this line to be 0 0.055 wide. And now I'm going to select on my mirror. I'm going to select that center construction line, the line that I want to mirror. And now I'm going to click on my circular pattern tool. I'm going to select on these two lines to pattern. I can green check mark that. And then I want to change that to 28 of those patterns. Now, all I'm going to do is simply extrude my gear. Uh, I want both all of those faces. I'm going to change my extrusion depth to 0.25 inches. Next, I'm going to place a sketch on the front of the gear here. I'm going to grab my center point circle tool. I'm going to do a 1.25 inch circle. I'm going to do a 0.75 inch circle. And click on my extrusion button. And I'm going to do a removal of 0.1 of material. You can see we get that little inset there. So I'm going to come lay a sketch down for my hole. Now, in a previous video, I've already created a bearing for these gears to run off of. Oh, I need to be on the center point there. So uh, if you need to learn how to make that bearing, it's in my initial gear video. Uh, but I'm going to make this opening 0.5 inches. I'm going to extrude it and remove it. Uh, all the way through, through all. So what you're gonna see now is we have our gear made. So I can move over to my assembly. I'm gonna to go to insert and I'm gonna to need to bring in my worm, my axle, and my gear. Again, in that previous video, we've created uh, that bearing, uh, it was in the initial gear video uh, that I'm going to bring in for this gear as well. In the next video, we'll talk about how to assemble these parts and animate them.